I have an unhealthy obsession with trees right now, and since you're watching this video, you have that problem too. So let's begin. There are two types of trees in Pixels, Anarchy Land Trees and Terra Villa Trees. Let's start with Anarchy Land Trees. Anarchy Land Trees have six stages. They start with a hole in the ground and takes around 15 minutes to grow into a small tree. After that, it will take another two hours to grow into a medium tree. At these stages, you will not be able to cut them. It will take another five hours to grow into a half-grown tree, which we can now cut along with the next stage, which is another seven hours to fully grow. If any of these two stages are cut, they will become a stump. And if you cut the stump, we will go back to the first stage. If the stump is uncut, it will take two hours and a half to grow into stage four, and then again, seven hours to fully grow into stage five. For Terra Villa trees, which is these two trees south of the main square, the tree timings are doubled at each stage. Stage one will take 30 minutes and so forth. Now let's move on. This is the stump, half-grown and full-grown trees loot table. If I'm not wrong, they have the same percent chance of dropping additional loot and the only difference is the amount of softwood drop, which is 16 for stumps, 20 for half-grown and 24 for fully-grown trees. Now, some tips and tricks on trees. Since we know the timing of each stage, it is possible to pinpoint when a tree will spawn. How I do it is go to this website, Pixels Lookup, link in the description, and look for the lands with trees. Next, open a few sites and you can arrange it in a way you like, but I arrange it like a CCTV. Now when you see a tree change its stage, you can calculate what time it will spawn into a fully cuttable tree. For example, if you see a tree change from stage 2 to 3 at 5pm, the spawn time of a half-grown tree will be 5 hours later at 10pm. Now how does the tree cutting mechanics work? Loot will only drop to the person who last hits the tree at any stage. So anyone who cuts the tree first or second doesn't matter. Only the last person who gets the last chop will get the loot. Now here's the demonstration. Notice how this tree here is on its last chop and I hit it once and I get the loot. Whereas here I cut it 5 times but the other person last hits it, I will get nothing. It is possible to spam click a tree to try to get the last hit during the stages of half grown and fully grown, but be careful when cutting the stump because if you spam click a stump, it will drain your energy even if you're not cutting it. Notice how my energy is getting drained correctly on grown trees but the moment it enters the stump stage, my energy gets drained fast. The most effective way i found is to cut multiple trees at once to space out your cuts, so you don't drain your energy when you cut its stump. But it's up to you and depends on the circumstances, whether you're tree hunting or privately farming the trees. Now what is the most profitable strategy for cutting your trees? This depends on if you own an NFT land privately or if you're hunting trees in other people's NFT lands. The best strategy for a solo player requires you to own an NFT land or has someone give you the rights to cut their tree. Start the day cutting the trees until it's stumped and repeat the process. Only when you're about to sleep, you can fully cut the trees. This will give you the most softwood a day, up to 4,224 softwood on a light density large NFT land. With current prices, it is around 240k coins a day. If you're tree hunting on other players, NFT lands, just cut the tree fully as no one will save the tree and everyone will try to get everything. For Terra Villa, it's best to just only cut the tree to its stump unless you are gone for a long time. So that's all you really need to know about trees. If you found the video helpful, drop a like, comment and subscribe. Join the Discord and I'll see you in the next video.